Hey everyone and welcome to Potato Monsters League of Legends Top 5 plays for an awesome episode full of sick mechanics. We're gonna get right into the action so kick it back, relax and enjoy as we open up with our number 5 play from Alex L. Genders on Zed. The enemy scion is here for a gank so Zed instantly backs off but he gets massively slowed by the creep and now Lissandra's headed in. Zed keeps his cool and moves away in the correct direction harassing them while on his way out and then he follows them harassing some more. We can't see it right now but Zed is about to hit level 6 and the slow baits them back onto him but a quick turnaround Q flash pops to Lissandra and gets him to level 6 allowing him to instantly ult the Scion, swapping around with some fancy moves to get some distance away from death. We're gonna speed it up for a moment as Scion continues to chase him down the river and the enemy top laner tries to collapse, but he's too low to fight. With the ward down, he feels confident, turning with a nice combo to burst Scion as he books it away so he can outrun the passive. After some clutch moves, Zed walks away with a 2 for nothing after being the victim in a 1v2 gank. Landing in at our number 4 spot, we have Tuno on Jarvan, but this is a full team play, so well done red team. Both teams have grouped up mid 20 minutes into the game and are confident they can win this next fight. Jarvan's off to the side, looking for a way in, and sees it when Lissandra goes in, freezing three of them in place as the arrow from Ash falls while Jarvan EQs for even more chain CC. Right off the bat, they kill three, but keep an eye on Janna as she flash monsoons the remaining two right into her team, delivering them on a silver platter. With four dead on the enemy team, they continue chasing the Lucian, catching up to him thanks to an exhaust, and with this ace, they push mid for the inhib, accelerating this game into an easy win for them shortly after this play. Coming in at third place is Skyuken on Gragas with a sweet teamwork play in a rank 5's game. We see him here to counter gank and save his AD carry by ulting them into the wall, followed by a fantastic E flash which lets his Lucian target down J4. Almost the entire calling goes into Thresh which forces him to flash out, but the friendly Zac is closing in and Lucian flashes after him. Thresh is very close to being in range, but not quite until Gragas' E connects, leaving a lonely Sivir all alone in the bot lane. Zac ults and then uses the chilling smite to make Sivir flash, and right as he starts to dive, we see the enemy Shen start to ult in. Blue team decides to dive anyway. Anyways, onto Sivir, Gragas landing another sick E right as Shen appears for the double knockup as Sivir gets singled out and then they move onto Shen for the cleanup. Tower aggro gets swapped onto Zack so they can dive with no risk because he still is passive. Moving into our number 2 spot, we have Skanky on Cassiopeia with a nasty turnaround play when things are looking rough. This play was submitted directly to us, recorded already, so my apologies about the watermark at the top, but this play's just too good. After losing the Baron, Red Team is trying to read them and head where they're going, which looks like mid lane, but Cassiopeia ult flashes for the 4-man stun, popping two of them crazy fast before moving on to Yasuo for the third kill to Fizz. The enemy Rise knows escape isn't an option and tries to fight it out, but some solid support from Janna ensures Cassiopeia is safe to sit there and DPS him down for the triple. A Sick engage by Cass from the Fog of War is the play her team needed to shut down the Baron push before it could even start. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Dank Pingers on Vayne with an insanely close game ending push. Red team is looking to ninja take this in him, so the friendly Garen presses in, which gives Vayne a front line to work with. Vayne is keeping a close eye on Malphite's ult, and she pops final hour and goes in biz, so Malphite ults the low health Janna, but is monsoon away, getting singled out by Vayne. Dank Pingers continues forward and gets flash altered by Morgana, but a quick QSS breaks the shackle and allows her to keep up with Lee for the double. Despite the binding, she's in range to DPS Morgana down with the help of Mouse for the triple, but she's not done yet. She attack moves her way closer to Ez, and then we see a beautiful flash tumble to get the right angle for Condemned to lock up Ezreal for the quad. The friendly Garen continues to tank up the tower, so Bane sits on Thresh, eventually dropping the last enemy player, standing in between them and victory. Since they're all super low in health, they have to be careful as we quickly speed things up and they push all the towers, but the enemy team successfully defends. Now we turn our attention to the red team's Kha'Zix as he sneaks his way into the base and beelines it to the Nexus to go for the hero play. At this point, I think the enemy team just gives up because they make some pretty big mistakes in stopping this Kha'Zix as he closes out the game solo. And for our bonus clip of the week, we have Playtestify Falc on Thresh with a weird bug when he goes for the hook on the enemy support. Thanks for watching everyone, any likes or shares is always greatly appreciated, but of course not necessary. And finally, a big shout out and thank you to our newest sponsor, Loot Crate, for backing us in the channel. You can get 10% off the subscription price by using the code PROTATO1 and there's a link in the description box. We're hoping to get you guys some cool giveaways or deals with Loot Crate in the upcoming months, so stay tuned because their crates are pretty sick and we're excited to see what we can do. Thanks again everyone for joining us today and I hope to see you back here soon.